Hello, fellow automators, and welcome to Workflow Live, the weekly video where we show you how to automate a process within your business step by step. My name is Andrew Dodds, and today we are looking at how to automate task creation within your project management database. So, you know, not having to manually assign those tasks that occur for a project every time given its category or, or type. So we're going to look at how to completely automate that. Uh, if that's of interest to you, stick around because we're about to jump right in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I have a project management base set up here. Okay, and there's a few tabs. I'm going to be doing a future session on one of the the new features that was released by Airtable called the timeline view. So there's a few tabs here that we won't be using, but we will be using four tabs for this demonstration. You'll see why in, in a moment. We're gonna have our projects tab, our tasks table, our tasks reference table, and our project reference table. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the fields that you need here and um, all of that jazz. One thing to mention, we're also going to be leveraging the scripting app. Um, and for those of you that haven't used the scripting app before, it is an app that you can download from the marketplace for free. And it allows you to write code that then will execute a script, okay, to do something. In this case, it is going to execute the task creation. Don't let this be scary. I'm, I'll link out to where you can use the, the code that I have that, that does this, okay? Um, so no need to be scared of the, the code. You can just plug and play what I've already done here. And um, that'll mean that it's important that you name your fields and tables in a similar way or change it in code. Okay, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's look at our tables here. So. Uh, project table, pretty straightforward you, um, for this demonstration. All you really need to do is at least have a project name. And of course, you would have all of your projects associated details here. And we're, we've also are using the button field here to run the script. And we'll talk about that here in a minute and how you can set that up. Tasks. Uh, so the the task will actually automatically generate here. This is where the, the script will put them. This is um, a junction table, essentially, and we'll talk more about why it's important to do this, do it this way in just a moment. The task reference table literally is just saying that for a certain project type, so let's say we have two different project types, I want to do task one, two, three, and four. Okay. Uh, for project type two, I have task five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. <clears throat> And then project reference is um, going to be sort of seeing, okay, by project types, what are our tasks? So it's the same sort of related information here. And all you really need to do is have the name of your task and a linked record to your project type. And then uh, the, the task will link here as well. Okay, so you just create this linked relationship. For those of you that don't know, linked to another field that's a field type that you can use and then you'll just choose the table that you're linking to okay so once you've created these links basically saying for project type one we do these tasks you're basically ready to go okay um, and so you're going to download the scripting app and you can do that by just clicking on add an app and type in scripting you'll find it here i've already done that you're going to drop your code in, and then we're going to be able to run the script. So I'm going to show you what this what this looks like um, if we just walk through it at a high level. Okay, so we're going to move these this link task. You're going to see the the task automatically link here to my project. Okay, I'll expand it so we can see it a little better. Okay, let's say we want to generate tasks for the swamp cleanup project. You'll see that it automatically opens up our scripting app here it's chosen the correct project and all i'm going to do is tell it 
which project type is this? Is this the one that I want tasks one through four or that I want tasks five through eight? Now imagine what those are for you, right? It could be any number of project types or categories or what have you. Uh, your imagination really is the limit, okay? And so uh, what we're gonna do here is, I apologize, having a little bit of an internet issue, it seems. We're gonna try that again. Generate tasks, okay, swamp cleanup and pick the record, uh, we're gonna say this is project type two. So you'll see, I get a little thing that says tasks are created and you'll see that we have our tasks created for project type two, which are tasks five, six, seven, and eight. And it really is that, that quick. You also see that those tasks got dumped into this junction table. So let's talk about junction tables and why they're important. A junction table is the intersection of two tables of information. So in this case, it's the intersection of projects and tasks. And it's really important because if you wanted to capture other information on a task that is specific to that project. So the general tasks, right? Five, six, seven, and eight are the same for all, say, category two, okay? But I might be tracking the status of that, of that task, right? <clears throat> so I might be saying, I actually have a field in here that is for status, okay? And uh, obviously this status is going to be unique to this project task combination, right? So if we just merely assign tasks five, six, seven, and eight to the Swamp project in the, in the table, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have that unique identifier. Right. Um, so let me just show you how this might play out. Right. And let's give these some uh, different colors here. Great. Great field. So, you know, maybe we're saying, all right, we still got to do some of these tasks. Some are in progress and some are done. Now. When we come here to generate our, you'll see we have task five for swamp cleanup, okay? That has a status of to do. And so as we're creating more tasks within the same category, so let's say for the green lightsaber restore, and this is also a project type of two, we have this unique, well, this is task five for this project, okay? And again, the ability to give that task five some unique information. And it could be status or notes or other things of that nature uh, that you're looking to track just for that project's task, version of the task, okay? So this is a really powerful way to, to do that and it will continue to track that information for you, okay? Great. Uh, so let's talk about how we got this great button to do this for us. Uh, so you'll notice again, the action here is we're clicking on this button and it's launching the code and automatically putting the project here for us. Okay. So to do this, we need to pass it some information and we'll look at that now. The way that you can create a button field is to choose the field type of button. So there's a field type button. You're going to choose that. Uh, give it a label. I've said generate tasks, a style that makes sense for you. And then you're going to choose on action. You're going to run a script. And then you'll just find that, that script. So make sure you've already downloaded the scripting app and you have it in a dashboard here so that it will show up. You just select those um, and you will have your button field created. Now, in order to um, uh, pull in the information here in the name, you actually don't have to do anything. It's automatically going to do that when you point it to the, um, to the, the app. So it's great. And, uh, it just knows because every single record in Airtable has what's called a record ID. And just a fun fact, you can actually surface that information. If you create a formula field and just type in record ID, you can see the unique value that's been assigned to the record. And as new records get created, they get a new unique value here, okay? So it knows that when you're pressing the button that has this unique value, it's passing that in here and populating the project name, okay? So uh, 
that is how at a high level you can automatically generate tasks. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I also want to, to mention that uh, you can find the, the source code for this um, in the description below. Okay, so go ahead and do that. If this was helpful for you, and, and I hope it was, we'd love to hear comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, all those kind of things. Um, and let me know. Now, for next time, we're going to be looking at resourcing within a project. So say you have a bunch of people who have a certain amount of work they can complete in a given period of time. How over or under committed are they? And what does that look like? from a visual standpoint. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Airtable timeline view and that's gonna be next week. Well, that's it for me for now and uh, looking forward to getting your feedback and hearing from you. All right, bye-bye now.